The news is out. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but Cardano is officially a dying ghost chain for absolute losers like me. The first reason of many why Cardano is this dying ghost chain is that you can stake your tokens without having to lock them up. You can do anything you want with your tokens while they're being staked. You can use DeFi, you can use smart contracts, you even get the chance to pick your specific stake pool and take different risks on how much return you wanna make every year from your ADA or what you wanna do and who you wanna to stake towards. You have the chance to support a certain stake pool, whether it's a single stake pool operator or a multi-stake pool operator, whether it's an individual or a business, you have the ability to stake where you want and support the Cardano blockchain by helping to mint transactions with your stake and also earn your yield without your ADA ever leaving your wallet. Not only do you get to make a little bit of passive income and keep up with ADA inflation as more of the circulating supply comes out, but you also get to support certain creators or certain businesses in the Cardano space via their stake pool operators, and you get to do it all while keeping your ADA in your wallet, safe from being locked up, safe from a long-term commitment to the chain, so you still have the ability to sell and buy in and out as you please. Maybe a new DeFi project pops up, maybe a new NFT project pops up, maybe a new stake pool offering ISPO pops up, you have the ability to change your stake at any point in time to do any of these things on the beautiful chain of Cardano. The second reason why Cardano is a dying ghost chain is that the tokenomics are very retail friendly. There's a lot of circulating supply out, so not a lot of liquidity is capable of being dumped on the ADA holders. The amount of tokens that were given to the public at the inception of the Cardano blockchain was a vast majority of the total supply. I think over 70% was given to the ADA public holders. With that, the chain is essentially built by its holders, the chain of its holders, without a ton of companies holding a lot of tokens. As Cardano introduces governance and has other ways for ADA holders to get involved, all of this public supply of the ADA being in the hands of retail has the potential to really put the Cardano blockchain in the hands of its retail ADA holders. Fair token launches are very important in crypto, and Cardano did very well at that at its inception. The third reason why Cardano is actually a dying ghost chain is that it has contributed vastly to the amount of blockchain research that is out there in scholarly reviewed articles and papers. Through its peer reviewed research model, Cardano has contributed vastly to this new blockchain space where academic research was limited. While blockchain has been around for decades actually, I think it got started in the late 80s or early 90s, this idea of cryptography and blockchain and what cryptocurrency can be has been around for quite a while. In the past 10 years, we've seen a vast expansion of the space and the Cardano blockchain has put out massive amounts of scholarly papers, either through research or funding or assistance in any kind of way. And I'm very proud to be a part of a blockchain that has contributed this much to the space. The fourth major reason why Cardano is a dying ghost chain is that it puts security and decentralization first. Speed is fun, but Cardano does not put speed first. We don't need to put speed first because we have secure, stable L1, secure, stable transactions, and a decentralized mindset from the beginning. When you have security and decentralization, there's a lot of other ways to go faster, but there's not a lot of other ways to make your blockchain centralized back to decentralized. So I'm glad we started with decentralization with our token launch and with the way the blockchain works. I'm also glad we started with security because it's very hard to go from unsecure to secure. When you put security first, security is one of the core fundamental things of using people's money. You wanna be secure as a global settlement layer for financial payments. Without security and without decentralization, there really wouldn't be a whole lot of purposes to use cryptocurrency over something like credit cards or USD. The fifth reason why Cardano is a dying ghost chain is that our DeFi ecosystem boomed incredibly over the last bear market. And in this bull market, it will finally get the chance to show what it's made of. Last bull market in 2021, we barely had smart contracts out. We barely had a couple DEXs and DeFi apps out. But over the last two or three years, our DeFi ecosystem has tremendously exploded. Our TVL of ADA is constantly getting higher and higher and DeFi applications like LenFi or DEX Hunter are changing the game for what can happen on Cardano DeFi. Our NFT projects are constantly improving. I currently rock a house of Titans but our DeFi ecosystem is tremendously growing since the last bull market, and it's going to correlate to an amazing ecosystem in 2025. Every time I look at Cardano content, or every time I post Cardano content, there's always comments about how Cardano is a dying ghost chain, it is a stable coin, it's all these things. 
I don't know where we picked up these narratives. It ha definitely happened in 2020 and 2021, but I'm really glad and proud of what Cardano has done as an ecosystem, what it stands for, and what kind of the ecosystem has done over the last couple of years. I'm very excited for 2024 and 2025 in this bull market to see what Cardano gets going and what gets happening for it. And I hope it does get the recognition it deserves for innovating in the crypto space. Cardano is a retail focused chain. It's done a lot of things for the retail investor and the retail tokenomics, the retail DeFi, Anything you could want to do as a retail investor is here on Cardano and I hope people get away from the comments of dying ghost chain or stablecoin or nothing's happening yet, there's no DeFi, there's no smart contracts, all these old narratives. There's a lot of reasons to check out Cardano and I really hope that this video has highlighted a couple of ways where we do excel in the crypto space. The tokenomics are fair, it's decentralized, it's secure, we're contributing to research and you don't have to lock your tokens with staking. There's a lot of reasons to check out Cardano and I hope this video helped to highlight some of those. If you're new to Cardano, welcome. If you've been here the whole time, thanks for staying around. The DeFi ecosystem needs you, the NFT ecosystem needs you, Cardano needs you, and we really appreciate you being here and watching these videos. Let me know in the comments if you're a part of the Cardano community, if you're an ADA holder, and what you think about these reasons and all the comments about being a ghost chain. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.